Hello and welcome back to another Dragon Figure review. Uh, this time I've got a Cyber Hobby exclusive figure, um, which means they're quite rare generally. This one especially. Um, this one here, as you can see, is Larry Reed, a US Army BAR gunner from the 106th Infantry Division in the Ardennes, 1944. Um, so, yeah, don't. Oh no, it does say when he was made. 2006. Uh, 2006 he was made. And with this one I'd never seen him before. Um, and friends uh, that I've talked to who are avid collectors as well have never seen him before. Uh, hadn't even heard of him. I didn't even know he existed. And many people I talked to didn't either. So uh, yeah, as you can see he's not, you know, not the most... Um, kitted out figure. It doesn't have the most uh, equipment or anything with him. He's not going to be hard to put together at all. Um, but he's just rare. I only uh, he only cost me forty five pounds, so really not very much at all. Especially considering I've never seen this one before. Um, not seen him sold anywhere or anything like that. And Dragon and Cyber Hobby never really were great at putting up. Uh, lists of um, like extensive lists of figures that were made and produced um, so yeah it's just kind of left to discovering some of them yourself really I mean I've been collecting oh I don't know uh, 11 years or so now I think about 11 years maybe 10 and you know I've there are some figures that I never never knew existed like they're primarily cyber hobby um because cyber hobby ones were yeah they're they're quite rare and they did very abstract figures every now and then so yeah they're easily missed but um yeah here we go so here's his sort of dress uniform underneath and it says he has it said something about his head sculpt on the box um yeah up here it says uh, ultra detail head sculpt. I don't know how well that will come out. So that's promising. Here is his head sculpt. It does look really good actually. Um, it looks just a little bit better quality wise than your standard dragon figures. So perhaps that's why, because it's ultra detailed. Uh, the hair has a sort of different sort of texture to it. It's got, they've tried to go for the sort of individual hair feel, even though it's, you know, it's still the hard plastic that they generally have. It just feels a bit different texture wise. Looks really good though, I think, the head sculpt. So, yeah, there it is. Uh, it comes with a tie, which is interesting to have. Because um, he's a corporal, isn't he? Yeah, he's a corporal. Um, but yeah, here we go, has very nice boots as well. The trousers are nice material, comes with the belt as well underneath. And gloved hands, which an individual you can... This is actually really good uh, by the feels of it. So you can mould them individually to stick however you like. That's, that's going to be really good for poses and everything and holding things. That will be really good. So that's nice to see. So yep, there he is. Uh huh. Okay, here's his um, insignia, his rank, and then his unit um, insignia, which is the circular one. Uh, he's got a pack of cigarettes in there. Uh, he's got his scarf to wrap around to keep him warm. So that's nice and long. So that'll be good. Uh, and then in a bag. Oddly enough, um, instead of just having a cut out in the plastic for the BAR, they put put it in a plastic bag attached behind it. But sure, uh, right. So you get three magazines with it, three clips with it. There you go. Very nice. Just. Yeah, nice leather strap as well. That's the more sort of recent one rather than um, the more updated dragon ones rather than their sort of elastic just pure like sort of elastic band that they put 
which has always looked a bit not cheap, but you know what I mean, just a bit a bit lackluster. It didn't look great, it didn't look overly authentic. Um, so you've got a working bolt and everything, which is really nice to see. Um, it looks like you can flip the sights. I think. I'm not entirely sure. I think you can. I'm not going to risk breaking it. I'm almost certain you can. Yeah, I think you can. But like I say, I'm not going to risk it. Yep. There it is with its foldable bipod. I like it out. Um, but yeah, there's the BAR. And the magazine obviously comes in and out. And then you have the helmet. Already got its internal bits all sorted. So no worries there. Just need to pop that off around the front which can sometimes be a little bit of a struggle but yeah then you've just got his straps to put around let's just have a quick look at how that fits because of the hair it could be a slight problem yeah no that fits okay so that will be all right uh, and right now on to his coat and everything so with all cyber ho cyber hobby uh figures you get um, a card with them and for some reason on eBay you always see them that they're always missing people somehow always whether they threw them away or whatever they, there's a card there and it gives you the number that they were in production so this one was number 17 of the Larry Reeds that were made um, so yeah there you go uh -huh. this has its usual sellotape at the back but yeah, I'm just going to leave my um, card on. I'm not going to bother taking that out. There's no point. You're just asking for it to go missing otherwise. So yeah, there is uh, straps. To go on, nice material. It's the more modern pouches as well, of course, which is nice to see. Not just plastic, actual material. So that's great. Oddly enough, doesn't come with a water canteen. Like, nowhere in the box, and the figure just doesn't come with a water canteen. Fortunately, I've got some spare, so I'll pop a water canteen on there. But, um, yeah, just to keep in mind, when if you do find this figure, that he doesn't come with a water canteen, which is kind of essential if you're going into combat. Um, so, it would always look good to add some things on. Like with some figures, I do like to just add the odd thing. If it's missing something kind of weird, like in this case, it's missing a water canteen, which is odd. It's missing a knife as well. It, uh, if you're just looking for like full kit, if you want them to look fully kitted out, then that's always a good way to go. And I like to just add a couple little things on. But if you want to keep it authentic to the box, like to how it was in the box, then fine. That's up to you. Yep, here's the coat. Uh, I'll just pop it on him if, uh, if I can. Alright, welcome back uh, to the Larry Reed review. So here he does. Here he is, all done up. There he is. His helmet fits nicely good strap um, as you can see I added a smoke grenade a yellow smoke grenade uh, he has his cigarettes in his pouch there uh, sorry in his coat there he has his BAR looks great holds it really nicely holds it really well so he looks really good like that uh, it needs to be noted that I added the medical pouch here that he has uh his shovel and the holder the water canteen as well the water canteen and the cover of course the pistol and pistol holster the rest obviously the belt and all that is with the original figure but just so to avoid any confusion for anyone that gets him that he doesn't come with um those accessories I've added those on myself so yeah here he is looks great I love his boots as well 
the straps were rather hard to get on. Um, they have it's that metal um, clip that um, Dragon use, and they're hard to they're quite awkward for the Americans to get through the little holes. I, I absolutely detest them. Um, but what, I mean, they they they're, they're a pain to get in. But once they're in, they look good. They do look good, but they're just a pain to actually do. Uh, but yeah, overall the figure is fantastic. It's simplistic, but fantastic. It looks great. He's extremely rare, so even on that alone, I would recommend getting him purely off his rarity. But um, no, it's just he's just a very well-made figure. I like the hair that he has, as I've shown, um, and the the face sculpt, like it says, is extra detail. So it does it does show. It is a a little bit above, like a level above the others, like standard. But, um, oh, here you go, There's some more different angles, the way he holds it is good, the gloved hands are actually a lot better than some previously, um, so you can see the way he holds it, it's nice and snug, he has a good hold on it, which is a nice, was a nice surprise, um, they're quite stiff hands rather than being, you know, the bendy ones that don't really hold things overly well, so that was a very pleasant surprise. But overall, he's a great figure. I really can't um, recommend him enough if you can find him, which is a very hard task. If you do find him, then yeah, definitely. Um, but like I said, no, I didn't know he existed. He's not really listed anywhere, but yeah, there you go. One last look at him. The BAR really does make the figure, in my opinion.